It's Beer Review time once again, and we've got another one from Beers of Europe to Code UK. And we've got Northern Monk Patrons Project 1.01 Coffee Porter, and it's 7.4%. And it's got quite a cool label, but I don't know if it's going to pick it up. There we go. And it's kind of like, I have to rotate it all the way around. There we go, and it says on here. Um, I don't. I don't really know much about this. It even says peel here. I don't know if to peel that. It says Rwanda Gashonga Tom Joy Raw Emotions. Let's peel this and see what it says. Oh wow! Well, I should have done this before. But anyway. Right, it says, Northern Monk Patrons is an innovative set up to foster collaboration, creativity and community between artists, athletes and creatives across the North and includes support for Battle Lines, James Butler, Finnegan Finn, Hide and Seek, Nomad Clan, Tom Joy, Jack King, Ricky Lightfoot and Drew Millward. This is based in Leeds but originally from Aberdeen, Tom carries his camera everywhere. I'll read you that bit in a minute but it's uh, it says, limited edition, a series of Three limited edition beers exhibiting a series of Tom Joy's favourite pieces accompanied by three unique roasts from North Star, which the team at Northern Monk had developed into brews that accentuate their unique characteristics. I don't know if I can get you the... So it's got the Northern Monk... Come on, focus, don't be naughty. There we go. And then on the inside, we've got all this kind of... about it. Which is pretty cool. I'll read you a bit more in a minute. It's good. I'm just gonna fold that round and get it in the glass. I love the little cans as well. I think it's gonna be a sipper anyway. 7.4%. It looks really nice as it's going in the glass. It's got a real deep roastiness, almost like, the only way I can describe that is if you just bought a fresh packet of coffee, like the coffee grounds, and you've just opened them up, not the kind of like the rubbish coffee, the real nice coffee. Oh, I felt, that smell was amazing. Wow. That is nice. Mmm. Right, I'm going to read a bit more and then say a bit more about that. So, on here it says, Roy Motions, I shot a series of aggressive portraits back in my final year of university. The premise was to visualise the Roy Motions that I had experienced and by the end of the project I had turned a massive corner in accepting myself and dealing with my own fears. The anger in this one out of 160 images was particularly strong and the damage that I was able to inflict to the photo print was a graphic representation of how much this emotion consumes. At this point it has just been over three years since I created this series and I am still not satisfied that I created anything that's real or thought provoking since but I am certain that this could be a positive reflection of my oncoming my demons. I'm going to pick that off of there so it's Cool, right, there's, there's a bit more about it. I'll peel that bit off now. So it says it, a sweet coffee with great character. There is a syrupy mouthful, notes of plum, black cherry, marzipan, and juicy orange acidity, adding great complexity to the cup. It says, in showcasing the distinct flavour of the Rwandan Goshonga, I hope I pronounced that right, coffee, we firstly look to enhance this mouthfeel, a grist featuring equal parts of roast barley and chocolate malt to start before loading in lactose for creaminess and boiling for two hours to thicken the wall, leaving us a silky temperature of a beer. At the Whirlpool we have a solid hop charge of Bramling Cross, North Down and Galena, all of which contribute to dark berry character to complement the similar hints from the coffee. The final touch was to introduce the subtle measures of almonds and cherries to underlie but not distract from the complex coffee character we introduced with the eight kilos of freshly ground Rwandan Goshonga. 
Wow, so it's even got lactose in it. It's like a like a milk stout. But obviously this is a I don't know what does it say it was a porter. But wow, the taste is just fantastic. It's definitely got that kind of that thickness to it. Oh, but the taste is fantastic. It's like wow. Possibly one of the best beers I've ever had. Mm. Mainly because I love my coffee. But this beer is out of this world. Wow. I don't get, if I'm honest, I don't get the kind of plum and black cherry, but I get a whole heap of the coffee. Definitely get that kind of the sweetness and the lactose kind of oh it's just a it's just a joy to drink it's really really nice and i tell you what there is no hint that that is 7.4% i would drink a pint of that that is absolutely beautiful wow i don't, I don't know what more to say about it it just tastes it even smells fantastic and it's it's quite cold actually I, I, I presume maybe even when it warms up a bit there's going to be a bit more coming through but wow so a little bit more in that squeeze oh there's a tiny bit left in there oh, fantastic I would I'd go as far as to say probably one of the best beers I've ever drunk. It just tastes absolutely fantastic. That has been Northern Monk Patience Project. 1.01 Coffee Porter. 7.4%. Tom Joy Raw Emotions. Fantastic. I just, wow. Get that in there. Let me just get the, the little, because the artwork is fantastic. Now I've kind of stretched it out a bit. You can get it all in there. It is amazing. If you can get a chance to get hold of this beer, link down below, beersofeurope.co.uk. If you kind of like your, your craft beer cans and that, wow, what a beer. It's got a lot of, a whole heap of backstory to it, but the beer, wow, it's amazing. Now I know when I saw this kind of like people talking about this beer on Twitter and, and the such, for good reason, absolutely fantastic. I can't, wow. Mm. Beautiful. Cheers.